Well, today is it. This is the absolute last day that I have to do anything education related. I got to go to the school, drop off uh, final grades, tra portfolios, transcripts, things like that, and say my goodbyes to staff. Uh, might be a little rough to deal with it, but got to do it. Yo, you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do out here, you know what I'm saying? You know, all right. That's what I be talking about, yo. What up, Mega Ran? I uh, promised my homie TJ Super Hype that I would come by, do Radio Super, which comes on every night, no, every Tuesday night, on radiosuper.com. Check that out. So, this should be a lot of fun. We're going to go inside and see what it's hitting for. I heard the homie True is also here, plus the queen with some soul. So, should be a fun time. I talk to people, I'm like, you play Final Fantasy? And they might be, like, straight Nintendo heads. Nah, we ain't really play it. And I'd be like, yo, there's this album in, like, yo, he's like, you know, Water Kick, Sephiroth, eats all of it. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, it's Nintendo. But I'm like, but I'm like, y'all got to understand where this is coming from. And they're like, it sounds cool, but, like, I'm like, you got to go play the game for, like, yo, you got an extra 40 hours, like, stop, <laughs> stop editing, stop editing film, you know what I'm saying? Take a week off work and play the game. It's supposed to be a totally, like, conceptual thing where I don't expect you to get down with it. I don't expect everybody to, to understand it. But if people can, then, man, that's really cool. Like, I got a message today on Facebook, and I was like, I got into you because I heard Black Materia, and I'm, I never even played Final Fantasy VII. I was just like, what? Yeah. And you stayed around? Like, this is amazing. That you know, goes so. Goes to show how, how sick the story of Final Fantasy is. And that's the thing. Like, people all the time tell me, I'm like, I really need to be getting a cut from Square. Because so many people tell me, I went back and bought Final Fantasy VII. Mm. I went back because yeah. I heard this. And now yeah. I want to play it again. You know, and I went and bought it the other day. Like, man, I need to be getting a check from them cats. But, yeah. <laughs> but it's yeah, not really. You, you sold. You, you I'm sold sure I've sold a few. Yeah, yeah. You know, for you sold perfect. I tried to contact them. I really have. I've tried to hit up Square Enix. I just want to talk to somebody there who was going to tell me who I can talk to or who I shouldn't talk to or whatever. But I haven't got any response. So right now, no, no news is good news. So, so, are, you, so are, are you saying, like, them not hitting you up, you don't really want, I mean, you don't really want people promoted on game sites? Oh, no, I do. We've been promoting on game sites. I mean, it's in Game Informer, the number one video game magazine in the world. Yeah, just saying. I, I got your photo right here. I got your photo right here. Okay. Mega Rand does what nobody else does, and he does it better than anybody else could have done. It. That, I think they pressed about 1,500 copies of those. Yeah. 1,500. Wow. Yeah, definitely. You know what I'm saying? So you see, I've been on my, I've been on my grind last time right wow. there. You'll love this right there. Huh. If you, if you, if you flip it around the back right there, and um. You look at the release that that came out in 2010. 2010. That what was the, the last Genesis game release. What the? Right there. So you, you know what you, I mean? You can't see that. I don't think you can make that out on the camera, but Pure Solar and the Great Architects, 16 okay. bit, the biggest let, adventure ever. Let me tell you what's nice about that joint right there. We going, okay, minutes. this is only the nerve. If, you, if you're real cool, if you're real cool, you might have to just skip ahead of a minute or two on the video right now. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so this right here, you got your, you got your Genesis cartridge, you plug this in. And then there's a CD that comes with it that you put in the CD drive, and it plays Sega CD music while the game is going on. So it uses what? both of them at the same time. What? It's crazy. It's real crazy. Definitely. Wow. Definitely. Super crazy. 2010. You know what I'm yeah. I, I, I'm like flabbergasted yeah. here. Yeah. 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 Right now we're writing a joint. Um, I don't know if you can hear this, but. It's very 8-bit. It's very, also very, ca very put in caps lock. Very 8-bit. Well, see, the main difference here is the time signature. This runs in what's called a 3-4. Uh -huh. Most of the things we do are running in a 4-4. Four, four. This is a 3-4 because it has a, a three things. It goes 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, uh -huh. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So because of that, it's a lot different than Writer's Guild might be used to. So, this is a, a, a lyrical challenge for Mr. Miranda. Always up for a challenge. Who um, may have to re, re, restructure his verse a little bit. Totally gonna have to do that. <laughs> yeah. 
So yeah, this is um. No might. No might. This no is might. a must. This is a definite. It's a definite. Okay, we're live in Las Vegas at Insert Coins Video Game Bar. This is like gotta be the coolest thing I've ever seen. And I'm just meeting my Twitter buddy Sean for the first time. So, how are you doing, sir? I'm doing great. That's awesome. Can you tell the people a little bit about how you heard about Mayran and your opinions on on his stuff? Pretend like he's not standing right here. <laughs> the first time <laughs> I heard about Mayran was Twitter Jam. Okay. The, um, I saw the video for that, downloaded the song, and then I started uh, listening to some of his other music, and I started picking up his albums, started playing them for my kids. <laughs> um, my sister-in-law really likes them because she's an old school gamer, she likes the Mega Man stuff. Nice. Um, but yeah, I just, I heard about the nerdcore genre, and I mean... He's a big name. I gotta, I gotta listen to his stuff. <laughs> nice. We're at Insert Coin, um, and have you been to this place before? Nope. First time. All right. Well, do they have any of your favorite coin op titles? Like I, I, I looked around. I saw Blitz 2000. I saw Metal Slug. Uh, anything in here? Whoa, anything just caught your eye? Like that button I just pressed. It? Burger time. Burger time. <laughs> I might be showing my age a little bit there. But. Definitely are. <laughs> Burger Time. That's a classic, though. Wow. I remember Burger Time. My, my cousin had it on in television. Yep. Wow. And, whew, I think I'm showing my age as well. <laughs> but I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go get some change for some dollars and play some games. So Sounds like a good idea. Let's do that. All Thanks right. for your time. Yeah, I literally haven't played this in at least a decade. So, <laughs> we'll see how this goes. See that, but yes, yeah, so me and Sean just tied in Space Invaders. <laughs> like the exact same score, 780 to 780. Both nowhere near the high score, uh, 46. Do I have to name 47 Earthen Flowers? No, you don't. Well, I say you do. for those who are not in the know. Hey, why not? 47. Let's go. All right. <laughs> let's do an order of a uh, an order of release. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that. All right. Um, the magnetic. Mm, okay. Head to the sky. Kalimba store, mighty Kalimba. Ah, all right. Serpentine fire. Fantasy. Uh huh. In the stone. Fall in love with me. Shining star. Um, September, obviously. Mm -hmm. After the love is gone. After the love is gone. The one. Yes. <laughs> Good one. Um. I knew nothing about Final Fantasy. Uh-oh. I had a, a guy, her brother, sit her down brother? with me for about 15 minutes just to give me a general outline of what... Of the entire story? Of, yeah. That, <laughs> no, just like like characters and basic plot lines. Oh, I'm like, wait a minute. Is that a whole new book? No, it's not. Okay. Um, basic plot lines, characters, and then at that point I just created a mercenary that happened to fit into the the concept of the song. It did. I didn't it's even it. know who the hell Sephiroth was until 15 minutes before I wrote the verse. I am so sad to hear that. And so will people who watch this. It was a damn but, verse, though. But that's okay. It was a great verse, great song, and hey, it worked out. It that's awesome. You're like... The third, it was like three people on the album who knew nothing about Final Fantasy. How did you get in touch with Phil Harmonic? I love that. I actually have his um, Iron Fist Scientist album. Yes, he has uh, Outer Space on there. <laughs> Sean Price. Sean Price, I yeah. Got, I got a major beef with Sean Price's verse. Uh-oh. If you listen to it, it's such a great verse. When he goes, um, if dead rappers get better promotion, you'll probably go diamond when I throw your head in the ocean. It was a, like, it was a really, it was a really mm -hmm. cool verse. He completely recycled it and gave it to Reef the Lost Cause for Reef the Lost Cause to take Yeah, I'm gonna Hi. Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, it's been a pretty cool trip to Vegas. I gotta say, it's been awesome. Let's see where we at. Fabulous Las Vegas. On the Las Vegas Strip. About to head on out. But, I'm gonna 
little bit lighter in the pockets, but everything's going pretty well. So, catch you next time. I guess we're going to end the episode with this, so. Free comic book day in Arizona. This week has been like by far the worst week in like the short history of the writer's guild.